वेलकम अगेन टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट पाइप साइजिंग एंड यूज ऑफ एडजस्टमेंट टूल इन हाई सीज इन द एंड ऑफ दिस ट्यूटोरियल यू विल बी एबल टू कैलकुलेट प्रेशर ड्रॉप इन साइड द पाइप एंड ऑल्सो यू विल एबल टू यूज द एडजस्टमेंट टूल टू कैलकुलेट डिफरेंट प्रोसेस वेरिएबल टू वेरी डिफरेंट इनलेट एंड आउटलेट कंडीशन ऑफ योर प्रोसेस सो टूडे वी विल सॉल्व a problem related to the cooling water pipe uh, in the inlet of pipe cooling water enters at two bar pressure and 25 degree c temperature we do not know the water flow rate but at the outlet the flow velocity is 2 meter per second and the pipe line material is mild steel with nominal diameter 3 inch uh, pipe is uh, 80 schedule and total pipe length is 100 meter so these are the pipeline specification uh, high seas mainly use these two equation one is the equation of continuity and the other one is the darcy's law to perform these kind of uh, uh, calculations so the equation of continuity is very simple that says the volumetric flow rate is equal to the cross sectional area of a pipe multiply the fluid velocity on the other hand uh pressure difference is equal to the fanning friction factor uh, friction factor uh, into the length of pipe multiplied by the density of the fluid into the uh, velocity divided by the diameter of a pipe so let's move to the high sea software to solve this problem so now we are in high sea the first uh, task is to specify the component so just press this add button and write water press enter water is selected the second task is to specify the fluid package for this problem we will use ping robinson uh, as a fluid package now the property environment is fully specified next move to the simulation so here from this unit operation tab just select this pipe segment and drop it here into the simulation environment cross this one double click on this pipe now specify the inlet and outlet stream we can say uh, the inlet is water in and the outlet stream is water out and uh, energy stream is energy so now we specify all the streams the next step is go to the uh, inlet stream double click on it and specify the inlet condition of this pipeline that we know the temperature was 25 degree c and pressure was 2 bar but uh, okay 2 bar and uh, we do not know the flow rate but to to start the simulation we have to take some guess value uh to start the process and then we will use the adjustment function uh to have the exact uh flow rate of water okay so for that what i am going to do i am taking a guess value for liquid volume flow at standard condition is 1 cubic meter per hour so next is go to the composition tab and specify the composition of this stream that is only one uh press okay so the water in stream is fully specified second task is uh, just double click on this pipe segment and specify the pipeline conditions we know that the pipe length is 100 meter and uh, the pipeline uh, the there is uh, the pipeline is horizontal so no need to put any elevation change you can see here uh, it says outer diameter and inner diameter but in our problem uh, nominal diameter is given so how you can insert nominal diameter for that just press this view segment and from here uh, just uh, choose the schedule number for our pipeline schedule number is 80 and then the nominal diameter all available nominal diameters are listed here so just uh, go to the 76.2 mm which is equivalent to the 3 inch specify this 
okay and uh, the pipeline material is already mild steel so no need to change it just cross this window okay the second thing that it says it says heat transfer information is un under specified so for that go to this heat transfer tab and uh, just uh, click on this estimate heat transfer coefficient uh, the ambient temperature is 25 degrees c and uh, we know we want that uh, include the pipe wall include inner heat transfer coefficient and outer heat transfer coefficient and you can see the pipe segment is already converged so water outlet so i'm just uh, putting a table that will show the outlet condition so the pressure is 199.9 so the pressure drop uh, the sorry uh, show table so these are the inlet condition and these are outlet conditions okay so the inlet pressure is 2 bar 200 kilopascal and the outlet is 199.9 so the overall pressure drop uh, if I use one uh, cubic meter per hour flow rate that is equivalent to the uh, 1015 uh, kilogram per hour is negligible it's it's nothing but our problem is we want to have a flow velocity at the end of pipe 2 meter per second and at that flow velocity we will have uh, we have to know what would be the water flow rate and what would be the total pressure drop uh, inside the pipe okay to perform this calculation we need adjustment tool for that just press f4 and this window will appear from here uh, select the adjust function and drop it here okay cross this window double click on this adjustment function what we want to adjust we want to adjust the inlet volumetric flow rate okay select variable so these are all the uh, streams and the equipment inside uh, our flow sheet from here we are going to use water in and from water in what would be the variable the variable we want to adjust is the liquid volume flow rate at standard condition click it and then press ok so the adjusted variable is selected the second thing is what would be the target variable the target variable is the liquid velocity at the outlet of pipe so we have to select pipe as an object and outlet liquid velocity outer liquid velocity so we have selected our target variable so what would be the specified target value we want that the outlet velocity should be 2 meter per second okay so now we have specified all the required uh, information to run this adjustment function but you 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 can see that here you have unknown maximum uh, uh, it says unknown maximum value what is that go to the parameters so here you can see the minimum and the maximum value is uh, uh, you you can specify it from which value up to which value your uh, uh, software iterate per this problem and the number of iterations are here 10 so we can increase uh, from 10 to 100 so and these are optional i am not going to put uh, minimum and maximum value and i took i already put one cubic meter per hour as a guess value for uh, flow rate okay so let's start our adjustment function okay now it is already converged 
so let's check the uh, uh, results okay so uh, you can simply see the pressure drop for this pipeline is 200 minus 145.7 kilopascal that would be 0 0.5428 that is the pressure drop okay so but what would be the flow rate to have 2 meter per second at the outlet of uh, this pipe uh, velocity so the water flow rate we can check in mass in the mass term it's 3.98 into 10 raised to power 4 kilogram per hour but in uh, volumetric unit is 30.46 cubic meter per hour you remember at the start i put here one cubic meter per hour okay so let's go to uh, some result uh, analytics in the form of plots okay for that just press on this performance button and view profiles and plot so the i want to know how the pressure is going to drop with the pipe length so with increasing the pipe length the pressure is continuously dropping this is the inlet pressure 200 kilopascal and this is the outlet pressure that is around 154 uh, 145 something so you can have similarly heat transfer profile you can have uh, liquid hold up so in all the uh, pipeline uh, all the length of pipeline the pipe is completely filled with a liquid okay you can have even a liquid Raynaud number alongside the pipe length and also the liquid velocity profile okay so this is the way how uh, you can uh, calculate uh, pressure drop inside the pipe and uh, you can iterate different values uh, for example flow rate uh, either you can also uh, change the pipeline diameter for have a specific flow rate so all these options are available in high seas i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and uh, if this video make any difference in your knowledge please uh, subscribe the channel and stay tuned for upcoming exciting videos so see you in next video bye bye